reference angle, the first step is to put it between 0 and 2 pi. Is that there? No. 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 So how do I get it there? What do I do with my negative 3 tenths? You got a minus. <laughs> I mean, add 2 pi. I got to add 2 pi. Right, it should be 20 over 10, right? <laughs> 20 over 10? 20 over t 20 pi over 10, right? Okay, so we have negative 3 over 10 plus 20 pi over 10, which would be negative 3 plus 20 pi over 10. I can't put that negative 3 and the 20 together because there's that pi multiplying the 20. But the next step is to figure out what quadrant this is in. I don't know about you, but I don't have this one down. Pi, if I can deal with negative 3 tenths plus 2 pi. Right, it's like 3. It's so like in, it in actually turns three. out to be, so if I plug this into my calculator, I get out 5.9831853073. radians. So it's approximately there. Where is this in terms of quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4? Quadrant 4, because it's almost all the way around, right? It's almost all the way around. So this is in quadrant 4. In quadrant 4, what do I do to find the reference angle? 2 pi minus the angle. I do 2 pi minus the angle. So 2 pi minus negative 3 over 10 plus 2 pi. What? And you can just type that into your calculator, yes. I mean, into the computer. Wait, why did you do that? So, Bobby told me this is quadrant four. And Wait, I know how many months in quadrant four. Because it's almost to 6.28, 1828, which is 2 pi. All the way around once it's 2 pi. So, for those of you who are not so good at this, zero is obviously zero, right? Zero is your Pi over two is approximately. 1.5708 or so, so if it was between 0 and 1.5708, then you're in quadrant 1. Pi, we know, is approximately 3.14. So if we're between 1.5708 and 3.14, we know we're in quadrant 2. 3 pi over 2 is approximately 4.712, that's good enough. And 2 pi is approximately... 6.28. So these are the approximations of the point where each of the quadrants changes. So we can see that we're between these two that puts us in quadrant four. So and so we use the rule for quadrant four. So it wouldn't matter what number that three was.